coming to the third classification nutritional aspect okay based on the nutrition amino acids are classified into two types okay and uh, not two types you can say three types okay so that means i have said out of 20 amino acids few amino acids are essential few are non essential and rest are semi essential so you can say three types are there so we will see one by one what do you mean by essential or indispensable amino acids okay essential amino acids means these are the amino acids out of 20 amino acids few amino acids cannot be synthesized in the body but we are supposed to supply in the diet okay so without these amino acids there is no protein synthesis or there is no protein formation so they are must okay they are must because our proteins contain all the 20 set of amino acids if one or two amino acids are missing there is no synthesis of protein or there is no complete protein okay so these amino acids which cannot be synthesized in the body so they are supposed to be supplied in the diet okay that's why essential amino acids okay and they are required for proper growth and maintenance of individual okay without these amino acids there is no protein synthesis if there is no proteins there is no growth so what are they examples how many number there are 10 so but i can say out of 10 two are semi essential as i mentioned essential non essential semi essential right so but most of the textbook they have mentioned 10 essential amino acids and few textbook they mentioned 8 okay so here in red color okay i have mentioned uh, what are the semi essential in red color and rest of the essential amino acids in blue color i have mentioned okay arginine is semi essential valine essential histidine is also semi essential okay and isoleucine leucine okay lysine methionine phenylalanine threonine tryptophan okay all these are essential so how to remember this names okay short forms you can see a b hill m p t t okay a b hill m p t t with this short form you can remember a stands for arginine v stands for valine H stands for histidine, I stands for isoleucine, L stands for leucine, again L stands for lysine, M stands for methionine, P stands for phenylalanine, T stands for threonine and again one more T, tryptophan. Okay, it's all mix up of aliphatic that means branched chain amino acids, aromatic amino acids, sulfur containing amino acids, hydroxyl group, okay and basic amino acids. So, all these are mix up in essential amino acids. Okay, that's very very important to remember in exam point also they will ask MCQs point, MCQ wise or viva. So, they will all they may ask. Non-essential amino acid that means, so semi-essential I was talking right. So, up to certain age we do require these uh, amino acids in the diet. Okay, once that age crosses or once you have attained adult, uh, adult stage. Okay. We do not require if you are not uh, taking those amino acids in the diet also no problem if you are taking them in the diet is also no problem okay two semi essential so viva point they will ask name the semi essential amino acids so two are in number that is histidine and arginine okay these are the two amino acids which are semi essential and coming to non essential amino acids so out of 20 amino acids 10 amino acids we have uh, separated them under essential and semi essential so rest of the 10 amino acids are non essential amino acids so that means what non essential so you are though you are not supplying these amino acids in the diet our body with the help of these 10 amino acids and some other chemical reactions by using them our body can able to synthesize the rest of the 10 amino acids to meet the biological needs hence if you are not consuming them in the diet also no problem so what are they glycine alanine serine cysteine aspartate aspergine glutamate glutamine tyrosine and proline so all these are non essential 